Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to teach you how to make cold brew using a toddy cold brew system. Now, for starters, you're going to need a toddy cold brew system, so if you don't have one, the best places to find them are on Amazon or the Toddy Cold Brew website. I actually got my toddy as a high school graduation gift. I won't tell you what year that was, but shout out to Paul and Eileen. Thanks, you guys, because I've been obsessed ever since. So, once you have your toddy, there's not a ton you need after that. So this is your toddy, it comes with a rubber stopper and it also comes with some paper filters and it comes with a felt filter. Mine was actually in the freezer, which is how you keep it good. Um, so it's kind of defrosting right now, which is why it's in that bowl right there. But it also comes with a glass carafe, which is where you're going to put your cold brew once you take it out of here. And I think some of the newer versions actually come with a cap for your toddy. Like I said, I got mine as a gift in high school, so I've had it for a little while and they didn't have that lid before. So you can either use um, cling wrap or I have this like reusable little uh, plastic or silicone wrapper to go on top just to keep anything from getting in there while it brews. And of course, make sure that you have your coffee beans. Now the cold brew that we're making is actually a concentrate that you're going to cut later with water, kind of like the kind that you get at Starbucks. So you need a lot of coffee grounds. So make sure that you have 340 grams. And finally, all you need is seven cups of filtered water. If you're anything like me, then you love fresh ground coffee. So make sure that you have a coffee grinder that you're able to switch the settings because we're going to have to make this coarse. Also, make sure that you have a food scale so you can measure out that 340 grams. If you really must, you can buy your coffee grounds from the store. Just make sure that they are coarse. All right, guys, go ahead and grab your toddy cold brew system and we're going to put the rubber stopper in the hole in the bottom and make sure that it's super snug so none of your cold brew can escape. After that, we're going to take your felt filter and we're going to put it into the bottom and make sure that you push it down, but not too far, just so it's snug and kind of level with the bottom that you can see there. And after that, we're going to grab the paper filter and stick that inside. Now, remember that these come with your toddy cold brew, but you can also buy replacements online, again, on the toddy cold brew site or on Amazon. And after that, you're just going to put in your 340 grams of coffee. All right, and once you have that 340 grams, we're going to put it inside the paper filter. Once you have all of your coffee grounds in there, we're going to put the seven cups of filtered water on top. But first, I like to put about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon just to give it a little bit of extra added flavor. So you're going to gently pour the filtered water over your grounds. Try and do it in a circular motion if you can. And then we're also going to stir all of this together just to make sure that all of the coffee is wet. Oh my gosh, that cinnamon smells so good. Again, I love the cinnamon, but that is not a necessary part of the recipe. You can totally do it without. All right, so once all of your coffee is wet, you're just going to take the paper filter, give it a little twist, and you can either tie it off or I just like to use a chip clip. Um, just keep it tight and then you're going to take your cover or your cling wrap or your reusable cover and just stick it over like that. And now you can just put it aside and let it sit for 10 to 12 hours. All right, so once you've let your cold brew sit for 10 to 12 hours, you're just going to take the top off. And this part is super simple. You're literally just going to put your toddy on top of the carafe and make sure that the hole and rubber stopper are over the opening and you're just going to pull it right out. And then you can just let it rest on top of there until all of your cold brew is out of the toddy. Once you've emptied your toddy completely, make sure to throw away the paper filter with the grounds inside, but make sure that you keep the felt filter at the bottom of your toddy, rinse it out, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in your freezer for later. Now, as far as actually making your cold brew, you can pick your own ratios, but since the coffee concentrate is pretty strong, I like doing about a fourth a cup of coffee concentrate with about three fourths cup of filtered water. And then I like to add a little Califia Farms almond or oat milk on top. And once you're finished, make sure to grab a reusable straw and give it a little stir. Happy eating! Well, I suppose I should be saying happy drinking with this. Happy drinking!